For today's cup of coffee, we're going to mix a little bit of local lore and legend with an event that happened uh, to me the other night. There's an area uh, that is called Broady Bottom, and that was supposed to be the scene of one of the bloodiest uh, Civil War battles, which uh, several videos back, that's, that's an area of contention. There's what we were told, all myths and legends are not true. And so there was someone who had contested the accounts of uh, that last battle of Sauville. So, anyhow, that area is supposedly very haunted regardless. And one of the stories that my grandmother used to tell me was about that there was a gentleman who lived in that area and that he was ridiculously cruel. And that was how he was known. And any of his servants and stuff that he was just brutal to them. And I will remind you, in this area, we had a lot of indentured people. And, yeah, so it didn't matter what what color, what uh, creed, where you came from. This dude was just wicked. And that on his deathbed, that he had called for one of his servants to come in to uh, tend to him. And when the servant came in, he's like, there is this dog. And... There was this dog that was there at the foot of his bed, this huge black dog. They didn't know how it had gotten into the room, anything like that. So the servant took the dog outside, closed the, the man's door. A few minutes later, the man is screaming again, come here, get this dog. Somehow the dog had gotten back into the bedroom and was now sitting at the foot of his bed. And it was reported that the dog had eyes that looked like coals of fire. So the servant, once again, got the dog, got him out of the room, and closed the door. Third time, the man cries out to the servant, Come get this dog. This time when the servant comes in, the dog is sitting on the man's chest. For the last time, he takes the dog out. And the old man never cried out again. So that was one of those interesting legends and youngest kid recently uh, gained employment at a little business that has been there for over 50-some years that I just absolutely adore. Everybody in this area knows this, this business. And so he had been having some car issues, and so I was transporting. And rainy night, and I was almost there <laughs> to that area, and this huge black dog ran out in front of me. Here I am, wet road, trying to hit the brakes without hitting the dog, hitting the side of the mountain, any of that stuff. And I'm like, that legend was the first thing that I thought of. Now, I trust, trust me, I have never been intentionally cruel to anyone. And I will tell you that the dog did not have eyes that looked like coals of fire. So I get kid, I'm telling kid about the, the incident with the dog, we're going down the road, kid screams, dog, and there it went again. So here I am trying to not lock the car up and skid, and so this is why we own cats. <laughs> if you have any local legends, if you have experiences with the supernatural, paranormal, aliens, UFOs, big feet, chupacabras, what have you. And if you just need somebody to listen to you, send me an email at cupofcoffeewithscream at gmail.com. And you all have a beautiful, blessed day.